Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel for Vlogtober. This is day four. So today I am still in the category of solo expenses. I thought I'd do a quick video on <laughs> how to reduce the price of cruising solo. So I got a few tips here that I'm gonna go through. Now, number one, first and foremost, watching for deals. And these are all different kinds of deals. If you have an account with Cruise Line, looking into your account to see if there are deals on your account. Pack and Go for my Carnival Cruisers. Uh, they have like pack and go deals or last minute deals, those casino deals. So any type of deal that's associated with your account, you wanna check those out to see if those will apply and just any deals in general. So a lot of cruise lines will have specials at random times. So you just have to constantly keep checking. And also there are different periods of time, like in January, January through March is the wave period. And you may find a lot of great deals, a lot of great deposit deals during that time period. Another suggestion is based on yesterday's vlog, consider 1A cabins for my carnival cruisers. That's a way that you can lower the cost of cruising solo. Consider cruising in the off season. So the highest price season is going to be your summer season because that's when the kids are out of school. A lot of people go on vacation. So that's going to be the most expensive time of the year to solo cruise. So consider cruising in other months, especially hurricane season. I know a lot of people might want to stay away from that, but hurricane season is actually a time when prices are a little bit lower and ships have great technology now to navigate around hurricanes. So you do want to consider, will it be an issue if your cruise is canceled? Especially if you have to fly in, if you're in that time period where no decision has been made and you're flying to the ports. So that is something that can happen and something that you will want to consider. And also consider that if your cruise is extended <laughs> because they can't come back into port. So those are just some of the things that you want to consider if you're booking around her season. Another tip that you may not know is about the AARP and all state programs, their rewards programs where you have to go on, register for the program and you take little quizzes to collect points and you use those points to purchase cards like carnival cards at a certain discount. I have used AARP rewards before and you don't have to be 50 or older, <laughs> but I have used their rewards program before where I collect points, I go in and I, I purchase my Carnival gift card at a 10% discount. And I use that to either put down a deposit or pay for my cruise or even use those on board for my spending account. And another tip is to, uh, hey, download an episode of Cruise Kibbits. <laughs> Yes, in one of our episodes, we talked about uh, ways that you can reduce the cost of cruising. Some of the points that I've named here, plus more. So hey, quick way to get to us is to log into cruisekibbits.com and that will navigate you to our episodes. And the last thing that I'm going to say is just, hey, you gotta put in the work and just do a little bit of price watching. So whenever you book a cruise, I mean, you just have to stay on top of your cruise or if you have a TA who actually does this for you to actually watch the price of your booking. Because in certain cases, if your price goes down, then that either reduces the cost of your cruise or if you've already paid it in full, then you can receive a certain amount of onboard credit. So thank you for joining me today for Vlogtober day four. I will see you tomorrow with another tip for day five. Bye.